Hello there. I hope that um, some people who are interested in things like what happened to dinosaurs and stuff like that might one day have a theory as to what I'm going to come up with might help find an answer to my theory as well um, about things like dinosaurs and woolly mammoths and even modern creatures that are alive today. See, I've often believed that they once all coexisted together and lived together and that we live with them as well, the human race. The reason I'm asking this question, is it possible that even though the Earth is billions of years old, that these creatures did not die millions of years ago or hundreds of thousands of years ago or tens of thousands of years ago, whatever, but perhaps only, say, recently, like 10,000 years? The reason that is, natural disaster can sometimes bring about terrible events and change the actual molecular structure of the Earth we live in. Just supposing, if you think about it, sometimes the Earth has a tilt on its axis. It's only a minor thing, and it doesn't cause much damage or effect to this world. But what if the Earth was to have a massive axis tilt, not just like a minor thing, but a massive shift? And that massive shift altered so many parts of this world and changed around so many areas of nature that when we find rock samples buried on top of one another, and we think one's there been 100 million years, one's been there 150 million years, is not so. That, say, six months there was one rock shift, and then six months later another shift, and then six months after that, and the creatures living in that world could not cope, nor many human species or lower primates. That even perhaps what we think was an ice age that lasted for so long didn't last that long at all, but only for a short period. That one shift after another and changes in climate, and rising sea levels one day, gone the next, land there, covered with ocean the next, another mountain shift, another mountain move, that what we think is millions of years of happening has only happened recently in the last 10,000 years. That when we view things from this angle, we might be able to face the reality that the Earth having a massive fall off its axis and going out of control is a possibility that such an event could have happened. And creatures like these here, like mammoths, these creatures could not have survived in such an environment because they were too large, like the dinosaurs, if they were living with them, and many creatures living in the ocean as well. Because they were so large, the current shift in what was happening with nature, they could not really survive to get out of the way of these catastrophes, whereas smaller creatures like leopards and deers were not better or smarter, but were better adapted at surviving in such an environment and such a catastrophic event. I know that some people think it's crazy. I know the Earth is billions of years old, and I know that many people believe in the product that we evolved from a lower primate, ape-like creature, but the possibility is the same thing happened to these creatures like the apes, the shifts and balances in what was going on with the natural disaster. They could not escape the lifestyle they was in and the areas they were in. They can only produce a baby three to four years. And these catastrophes were too much for them to handle. And tragically, they died all over the place. Like when we have found certain other ape-like primate species in Europe as well, that they might have been living in a lush environment one day and an ice age the next. And what we find in caves are not what we think of thousands of years old of death, of something that has gone tragically wrong. I respect science, and I respect many people like Charles Darwin, even Richard Dawkins, but I think the truth is, many evolutionists will one day find themselves technically, if you like, looking down the barrel of a gun, that they will have to accept the fact that one day that we did not evolve from a lower primate, that something did actually go wrong with the world, and it might one day be the the major talking point, rather than that we did come from a lower primate, that this is what's actually happened. When you look at films like 2012 and other disaster films, you can imagine the impact of something like that actually happening, or if the Earth did go off its axis completely, these kind of things would be happening. And I think you would witness such a thing even on a small scale when you see tsunamis or what recently happened in Japan even, the horrors of even a minor thing, what damage it can do to the earth and the people and the animals living on it. Imagine the earth's axis going off its tilt completely. You can imagine all these things happening in one day. Ice ages, floods, everything happening in the space of a few hundred years, a few thousand years. These things could be altered drastically 
that what we think happened millions of years ago did not. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed listening to what I had to say.